All right, we're getting started here with our box, and we're going to do some more manual version of actually programming the toolpaths. So uh, first thing I want to do, file, open. I need to find my actual project. Change this to Inventor. And there's my box. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is hit the uh, F9 key to get my coordinate, user coordinate system on there. Go to ISO. I'm going to go to Solid. And I'm going to hit this blue button here to get everything lined up in the middle. And zoom out a little bit so I can see what I got. Alright, next step. Machine type, mill. The, not the default, but the one that's our mill next door. Give this our machine group and our properties for generic cost. 3-axis VMC, vertical milling center, and uh, hit properties, go to files, tool settings, assign tool numbers, one of duplicates, under material, you're going to hit select, I'm sorry, edit, nope, it was select, um, library, 6061, check mark that's good stock setup it's the piece of material we're using check display change all of these to four inches and there's the origin all solids check so I put this dotted red box it's four inches in diameter and all direct or four inches in all directions around our our um, workpiece Next thing, toolpaths, contour. I'm going to put a, a letter here just to make a different one, but you can leave what it says. Check mark, solids. Make sure this one, this one, and this one are all blue, and that one's white. We are going to start by doing the outside surface here. <clears throat> to do that, zoom in and click that edge. Automatically, it put a blue line all the way around, and that's good. So I can hit the check mark. If it didn't, you'd hit other face, and it would pick a different surface for you right here. I'm going to pick other face again and go back to that blue line all the way around the perimeter. I'm going to hit the check mark. Check mark again. Now, I have to talk or give more detail about this actual tool, tool path. I'm going to start by hitting tool path, contour, tool. In this case, I have some information to change. This is going to be 0.25. That's 0. 7, 7, 7, negative 7. All right, that's good. Holder stays where it is. Cut parameters can stay where it is for now. We'll probably have to make some changes to it if there's any mistakes. Depth cuts gets checked. Max rough step is 0.5. Finish cut is 1. Finish step, 0 0.05. Lead in layout stays the way it is. Breakthrough, nothing. Multi passes, nothing. Tabs, nothing. Linking parameters, this is important. Check, 1, absolute. Check, leave it the way it is. Absolute, absolute, absolute got to be zero. Depth is absolute. Then we hit the depth button and it takes us to our model. We want to actually get down to this level. You've got to pick a line down here. And that took us down negative 2.5, which is pretty close to what yours should be too. Home reference point, nothing changes there. We hit the check mark and we're done. So now we have a tool path. Before I go ahead and run this, I'm going to change the actual information for the tool under parameters. Click on that tool. You've got some information here. I've given you a picture of what it should look like. So let's take a look at that picture. It's in the share drive. Overall is 2.5625. 2.5625. Shoulder. 
2.5. Flute, 1.9375. Diameter, 0.25. And that's all we needed to change. And notice the change that the visual of the tool has changed as well. So we can check mark that and that's done. Update, yes, check mark. Everything's good. Now I'm going to first verify and play and see what happens. Now, that's wrong. That's not what this should look like. We should have cleared away material on the outside and seen our profile. So what I'm going to do is go back into uh, parameters. I'm going to go to cut parameters, compensation direction left. I'm going to change that to right. That tells the tool to be on a certain side of your line you've chosen. And it was on the wrong side. Check mark. Notice we have a red X. We have to hit this button up here to regenerate all dirty operations. And now my tool paths are on the outside. So here, let's preview this. Take a look. Much better. That is the outside contour. Stop that. I can also zoom out a little bit and do what's called a back plot. Show tool or display tool. You can even display the holder if you want to see what it looks like. Then come over here and play. And you can see what the tool is actually going to do. All right, that was a half inch cut, half inch cut. It's going to work its way down until it cuts that last five thousandths of an inch off the bottom. And the pass will look almost the same as the one before it. So this makes sense and looks good. Done. Check mark. All right. Now I need to go and make another tool path, another contour. I'm going to make sure those three are checked. Hit the button. I'm going to come up here and I want to cut around. Oops, didn't stay. Sorry. Contour. I want to check this line. And notice it's a square, so I need to hit other face so it makes it a perimeter all the way around. Check mark. Check mark. Contour. Tool. It's still tool number seven. All sevens, that's good. Folder stays the same. Cut parameter stays for now. Depth cuts is the same as last time. Stays the same. Lead out stays the same. Linking parameters. We need to change the depth. Everything else stayed the same. I hit the depth button, and now this comes down to right here to cut my ledge. And it brings in a quarter inch, negative quarter inch cut for the depth. Check mark. And that's done. Let's zoom out again. Let's watch what it does. All right, it just cut my ledge for me. Now, if I go here and I select all and cut, you'll see it does the first and then the second. It made my ledge for me, which is good. All right, we're ready to do the inside tool path now. Same thing, pick an edge. Oh, didn't work. 